think with this many bricks, we're almost at a Legoland lever here. There's so many stands to build. Welcome to Brickvok 43. Last of the Star Wars guys are getting done today. Oh, that's 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 been a ride, guys. 1060 something Star Wars minifigures are on displays now, fixing some little touches. The last year, 2007, 2018, the ending and 2019 sets are on my screen right now. Proud of it. Yep, the Star Wars collection should be completed today, hopefully, and then we're gonna move on to getting more displays filled up in our showroom. I also have a bunch of extras. Ramon ordered a box of random pilots and stuff. Uh, this cup alone is just a bunch of different pilots that will go eventually to populate the Yavin display. Uh, yeah, and there's I think there's like that, that rare uh, Mon Mothma uh, that's gonna be in the Yavin base, telling the plan to defeat the Death Star. I think yeah. Alright, so this is the final part, uh, and I'm in the jacket because it's really cold in here, because it's still cold in San Diego. Yeah. Yeah. Also, what are we doing today? We're cleaning! Really? Yeah! Really? Yeah! Really? Also! Let's say yeah! Yeah! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's one. Yay! Okay, we're done. Several categories of trash. Catch. <laughs> Bravo. What's, what's, what's going in this? This needs to go to... Jeez. So the... Uh, we gotta clean the warehouse. This is also important. All this stuff comes from those cases. Looks terrible, we gotta get rid of it. So that's what today is about. Oh. So as you can see, we're not all about Lego. Sometimes it's just warehouse maintenance. Yeah, big things will come out of this, I hope. Not like a hard day's work, quitting time. <laughs> There's still so much left. <laughs> all this has to go, all this. That scary pile right there. That's a very scary pile. Please. <laughs> Today we're trying to put as many tiles in Yavin as possible because Charlie figured out, I think, for now, all of the lights for this section of the base. So, all the tarmac lights, I mean, and that way we can just arrange this area and make it look cool. Ooh, so shiny. You can see where the Zeta is gonna get plugged in there. Okay. This is roughly gonna be where the uh, the ramp comes down. So first things first, we definitely wanna tile this first. We don't have enough tiles to flush everything out today, so we wanna get the areas that we wanna put ships down on done first. So clearly the Zeta area needs to get tiled. But what about like all the uh, just gray tiles or do we like interchange with some Okay, tan anything that's tan or d old, gray, all of that stuff has been placed. Oh, so Charlie We're just the laying the stuff. dark bluish gray, nothing else. Got it. Makes it simple. Um, awesome. If we leave some open areas around here, like one by two open spots, mm -hmm. then we can get a brick separator right. in there easily yeah, and we yeah. can modify it a lot easier. You know, this is always how it goes. I guarantee you the first wall we make for Yavin, like the first column in the first wall, we're gonna find all these weird errors and then we're gonna realize like by the time we finish and start building the second wall we're gonna yeah. approach it totally different the same thing's happening right now for the tarmac so we're gonna leave open one by two spaces consistently around here because it'll make it a lot easier for brick separators all right that's good. it that's good. it good i have nothing else to say i set up a time lapse now yes three two one And we ran out of tiles, guys. That was fast. I mean, w with what we had, we were able to 
tile out the whole landing pad of the Zeta and um, yeah so that's laid out and she looks actually pretty cool let me see if I can get the lights up there we go so we did some uh, few lights around the shuttle so that's how it looks like but that's pretty much all the tiles that we had in our studio went there which we thought that we could make at least the A-wing landing pad tiled out and uh, there is the placeholder Y-wing that's that's the old design that's not ours well that's all we got <laughs> so now Ramon is ordering like I think seven or eight thousand tiles to fill everything and uh, once that happens we're gonna make a full on oven update and I know I can tell you guys in this vlog that he actually did digitally construct the temples columns mostly so those will get ordered soon and that means some great update coming so stay tuned you weren't in the last vlog i'm in this one now yeah yeah i gotta switch my microphone so like when you're talking you can they can hear you oh, and, like, some, like, and yeah. like this is like a directional so like hi hi is it directional <laughs> yes i i am good i wasn't good i was sick i get sick a lot yeah look at Just, all this stuff i know i'm slowly chipping away at the the pile it'll end before i have to then put more stuff on like, look at all this stuff I'm working on. What do, you, what do they think it is? Come on. Like, they can guess. It's in really? Web... You can guess that? It's in our web store already. Oh so... yeah, it is in our web store already. Okay, well now you just ruined it. Now they have to go to the web store and yeah, like, I guess at that point. Check it out. <laughs> Here is a little achievement. Uh, we finally got through the inventory of every Star Wars minifigure. I gotta go through the things that we packed from our move because some of the guys are still in the bags. I just marked them because I couldn't find them. So we're gonna just find them all and uh, return the collections to its former glory. That's all of the guys right now uh, chronologically. So every, you know, every set, every poly bag, every book that came out. I even made like some sm small stickers showing which year is it so you can see. Let me just get the lights up because this is so dark. There we go. This is like separated in a way that whenever there is a plaque with the year, anything that goes up and then to the right is in that year, right? Honestly, it just looks cool, right? So we have the Miracles of Pelsas models below. Uh, Star Wars minifigs will take three shelves on each one. Some of our custom builds here. This is like the preliminary display for all the Star Wars creatures so far. I mean, I have another bag somewhere with like the newer ones here. Um, but this, act this shelf actually will be removed and we're gonna place 8080 on the bottom. So that's gonna look actually cool when you enter the room. Jack just finished the video on the Balrog. This one is coming from Aaron Newman, a new designer in our web store. So give him some love. Anything you purchase from the web store supports him and also us. So we can keep going and making more mocks. The Balrog is in the Lord of the Rings display. It's pretty awesome. By the way, thank you guys so much for every single bit of support that you give to us through the web store. We get a lot of nice comments and reviews of the mocks we put in. The designers are happy. So thank you so much. And that's gonna be it for this week's vlog. Uh, we're wrapping up uh, the day on Friday today. Jack is finishing the fan mocks. I am uh, just uploaded the news. It's a really cool news. You probably have seen it already. Uh, Flintstones were unveiled. We, we got some nice pictures of the set. Um, really cool. I like the ideas um, coming where they come. You know, from the big sets to the small sets and from the small sets to the big sets. This one is a small one, so it's gonna be quite enjoyable. And I, I guess many people will be able to get it. It's just like 60 bucks or something. Things are happening on New York Toy Fair. This vlog is after the weekend. So probably during that weekend, we had a lot of pictures, um, hopefully from the, from the ground of the New York Toy Fair. Lego is unveiling a lot of stuff. I've seen the Jurassic World before the weekend, and that's something to wait for. That, that Dynamic is awesome. And things uh, really, really are looking well for this year for Lego sets and whatnot. So I'm, I'm quite happy how things are going with what we're gonna be getting quite soon um, in, in the LEGO world. And of course, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed our videos, you can always leave a like below, subscribe if you haven't already, click the bell button to get notified for every single video of ours, and we'll see you next time. You guys can say bye. See ya. Oh my God, the enthusiasm is just great. You can't, you, I, can't, I can't just perform on a dime. I, I'm not you an should. actor, you should. okay? I'm just authentic. This is it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next vlog and the next Blink World video. Bye bye. Huh? <laughs> <laughs>